Right. Can I just shoot his ass? No, no. Well, I mean, I guess you, you can. I'm trying to melee him. God fucking damn! What's going on? Holy shit! Tanner! I didn't shoot! I didn't shoot! I didn't shoot! <laughs> you fucker! I was on fire! I was, I was stopping you know, my fire! The fuck just happened, man. Know. See ya! Get him the hell out of here. Get him the hell out of here. You piece of shit. You piece of shit! Get him out of my face! Holy shit! What is going on? Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh my god. He's still alive. Knock him. The one's still alive. Is he down? Get him out of here, man! Let's go, baby! This was easy. <laughs> oh fuck, he's one HP. Oh man. Oh, this is the life right here. Full time hot tub streamer, actually. Next challenge is win a battle royale game from inside the hot tub. Listen, no battle royales for you in any other game. Here. Back. Shit on, shit on, shit on, get out of my face. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Get out of here. What's up, back, yo? How we all doing, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, baby. Yo, what's up, Mr. Folders and St. Sicilian? Some poor guy, what's up, baby? Yo, the native coffee pop, what's up, bro? Yo, what up, Safest? How we doing? What's up, Bull Tank? Nova Scotia, Jaybird, what's up, in St. Sicilian? Coyosta, what up, baby? Nova, what's up, man? Yo, welcome in, everyone. How we all doing, man? Yo, Mac, what's up, baby? Hope you're doing well, dude. Good to see ya. Yo, yo, Pack. What? What did we think of the fights last night, dude? Who out there watched the fights, baby? Pat's Dynasty. What's up, man? It was almost as good as WrestleMania. You're funny. You're funny. You equal KP. What's up, man? What up, native? Hope you're doing well. Pats? Yeah, McGregor is supposed to make his return at UFC 303, dude. UFC 303 is what they're talking about. UFC 303, it's going to be McGregor versus Chandler. BMF stole the show. Dude, that fight between Dave G and Holloway was insane, man. It was nuts.
Dobsky, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well, man. It's good to see you. It's funny because I watched the post-fight press conference, and Dana said that the, that uh, the BMF fight was so good that it like sucked the air out of the entire stadium. And I was like, it's kind of true. Even when we were on the broadcast, like the next fight after that, Yan versus Wei Li. Um, like it was a great fight, but the fact that it followed up the other fight made it not as good. And like even the main event was good, but that uh, that Justin and uh, Max fight, dude, Gaethje and Max, what a fight that was! What a fight that was, baby! Madman, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Spicy kombucha, what's up, baby? Appreciate the prime. Yo, Madman. Yo, make sure your notifications are turned on, man. It was a great night. Yeah, like, an insane fight card. Honestly, like, I don't know how you could have asked for it to go any better. You know what I mean? It was damn, it was up there. Jakey, oh, dude, speaking of that, I want to I wanna watch that back. I want to watch back our reaction to the Holloway knockout. I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch it back here. Hold up. Let's watch it back. Watch it back. What would have been? Let's see. Be like. Damn it. I'll get there with the round. I'm so hyped up. All right, here we go. Justin's still trying to press, but he's not over. You know what I mean? Hey. My poor, my poor. For me. The dude, man. Winning. In a round, hey. he's winning, Eves. We, like, lost it. Green, Jim Miller, decent figure on guard, Brian. That was it. That's what you're talking about. The other green, Jim Miller. Damn it. Wait. What about the He slapped him. Right here. Right here. This is it. Max with the Can kick. you land that knee? That was nasty. That was nasty. Well timed by Max, dude. He's seeing everything. 155. Right now. Here we go. Look at Justin going down with the high kick. Max has to do a jumping knee. Go oh, jab to that belly hole. Right here. 20 seconds left. Yeah, it's coming Gaethje. up. It's coming up. Yeah, Max is starting to feel those, like he's starting to show the feeling those low kicks. Oh, yeah, right. no, that calf kick's going to hurt tomorrow. Those. Gaethje with the somersault. But, you know, and Gaethje Ooh. with the. Look, here we go. Oh, they're right standing in the right in the middle of the octagon. There they go. They just start throwing. Oh. Nobody's backing up. Oh! Oh, he's oh, back. Back. Oh, back. Oh, back. back to back. Knock him to sleep. Oh, Drew the line. Drew the line and slapped him. Oh, oh, my God. Drew the line and Gaethje oh, stepped in. They went toe to toe and he slapped him. Slapped him. Oh, Face down. Man, oh, no. oh. Back it up. Oh! oh he's back. Back. Look at Lucky oh, Oliver. Oh, oh, <laughs> Look at Eve, bro. Look at Eve. Oh my god, dude. Knock him to sleep. Do the line. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It was wild, man. It was wild. If you didn't catch it, it's on the it's on their channel. It's on the UFC's channel. You can see the end of it. Where it got blasted out all over social media, dude. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Crazy, baby. Crazy. What an insane fight that was. I, I The coolest ending to a UFC fight I've ever seen in my entire life. Coolest ending to a UFC fight. Any fight, for that matter, that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, with one second left, dude. With one second left. That's a walk-off knockout. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, what did you guys think? Yo, Matt, once again, a hey, thanks for the seven, the seven months, baby. Bonds, yeah, we were just talking about it, dude. We were just talking about it. We watched back our reaction of that knockout.
the Holloway Justin Gaethje knockout. Woo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, pack. Gonna do a little PUBG tonight. It was super fun watching, especially the watch along. Gonna remember that for ages. Yeah. 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 And wild, dude. Absolutely insane is what it was. Yo, where it at, boy? Coming in 18 months, baby. Yo, Slammy, what's up, baby? Insane Sicilian. My man, he's coming through gifting five subs to the pack. Crafty to one, freezing Rayo Fasan Kiziz. What's up, baby? Have I played Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? I've played Siege. We've played Siege. I've played Siege before on the channel. Holloway versus Tapuria is going to be crazy, too. Yeah, it is. I don't, uh, dude, honestly, Max looked really good at 155. So, yeah, they announced... Last night, they announced... Pore versus Makachev. They announced McGregor versus Chandler. And I swear they announced one more fight. What was the other fight that they announced, Jeff? What was the other one they announced? Yo, Native Coffee Pot. What's up, baby? Well, it's not said after that Holloway Gage fight, we still had two more f title fights. Such a weird feeling. Yeah, they, not only was it a weird feeling... But Dana talked about this, and I was noticing this during the broadcast. It was like, he said he said it in the post-fight press conference. It was like everybody had this giant adrenaline dump because of the Gabe Chi, uh Holloway fight. And I, I felt like that was the case. I felt like the air would just sucked out. Like, the, the, ex, the, the amount of hype those last two fights should have had for what they were was just not as good because of what happened. Oh, yeah, it was Strickland. Strickland and who? Strickland and who? Strickland and Costa. That's what it was. Strickland and Costa. Also, with Adesanya and Duplessis there and showing them both at the same time, I feel like they're kind of foreshadowing that they're going to end up fighting. They said it from the get-go. That's the people's main event. Yeah, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong, baby. Absolutely, dude. That's yeah, not something you see too often. Not too often that you see the guy that's ahead in the fight 
clearly be like, yo, let's just stand in the center and throw throw bombs. You know? Usually it's the opposite. Usually they're running away. Like, I got this in the bag. I don't need to do this. No, you said, let's stand in the center and throw bombs. Also, how about main event Pereira getting kicked in the nuts and then just being like to Herb Dean, like, yo, stay back. And then Herb's like, Herb was going to come in. He's going to stop the fight. Pereira is just like, goes like this. Herb's like, all right, yo, just keep going. Then he just fucking knocks Jamal out right after that, huh? Yeah, Max got 600K bonus. Bro was just like, no, stay back. I need to knock this dude out real quick. Like, all right, now you, here you go. Now you can get in there. Now you can get in there, baby. That's what he did, what you got here. <laughs> this, right there. Hold up, let him cook. <laughs> now, hold up, let me let me do this real quick, bro. Hold up, I got this real quick. Let me knock this guy out real fast, all right? Yo, I didn't get to, I got to watch the end of the Jim Miller fight. So I didn't get to really see everything that happened, but it looked like Jim was going through a war in there, huh? You got the carbon sponsorship. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah, we work with carbon now, baby. Work with carbon. You can get a discount through our link. It helps, helps support the channel. And on top of that, it's the best diet app in the world. Helped me get in tremendous shape for years. Help my friends. Help people in my family. And I know it's helped a lot of pack members. If anyone's out there and you're wanting to lose weight or gain weight, put on some muscle, lose body fat, whatever it is, Carbon is the best app out there for it, baby. Yo, Malchawick, what's up, man? This, thanks for the late stream. Always makes my day better. Hey, no problem, brother. You being here as well. Jay, yeah. Yeah. You and some others, dude. I think that helped a lot. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you doing that. Sicilian, my man. Appreciate you. Get that said the Jay. It's like prayer was playing the plan for that left hook and Urban interrupted it. Yeah, he's like, yo, dude, I'm about to knock this guy out. Hold up. Jaybird, I uh, you need to send it to the. Let me see. Let me see if I can DM you, dude. Real quick. Did you get that uh that whisper on Twitch? Yo, K dot, what's up, dude?
Oh boy, he running. Oh boy, we got a runner. Oh boy, we got a runner. But he ain't quick enough, baby. Good night. We would rather do the lightweight than an angle right here. What did I think of that UFC card last night? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, fucking stepped out on us right then. Right then, bro. Woo! What did I think? Um, I thought it was maybe the greatest UFC card ever, dude. That open card last night was insane. That was wild. Ready for that. GG. What was the money line on Holloway? Um, I know at the start of the fight, Dave G was definitely favored. Tapuri is scared for his life at the hall. Well, the one thing about Tapuri is he has really good grappling, though. That's the one thing about Tapuri. Tapuri has got really good grappling. So if he's able to take Max down, that could be like a game changer for him, right? I I will agree with that. He kind of looked a little shook 
after that ma after the max win but who knows who knows man i want to really look too much in that to is a beast i mean he just beat fucking volkanovsky bro who's beat max three times so and i'm not saying that for mma but i'm saying that he'll beat him i'm just saying i wouldn't be so i want to jump to conclusions that he's scared or something the dude's the champ he's been piecing people up i don't think he's just afraid because max knocks somebody out What was the what was the starting odds? Does anyone know? Connor versus Chandler. Who do I got? I got Chandler. I think Chandler would take uh, would be Connor in that. Yeah, I think I think Chandler is favored in that one. Slime, where did you hear that? Jaybird, nothing, dude. What's your handle? Yo, Cliv, what's up, baby? Yeah, where'd you hear about Pereira going to heavyweight? How many hours do I sleep? Six to eight. Preferably on the higher end, if I can. How was my day? My day was really good, bro. Day was really good, baby. Did we get Miramar again? What are the chances? Less than it's four percent, right? Did you get that for me? He mentioned it himself. Did he do it at the press conference?
the heck? Does heavyweight have a max size? The most you can weigh in heavyweight is 265. Apparently, Pereira, after his weigh-in, gained 27 pounds. That would mean he weighs 232. So, I mean, like, the dude is technically, like, heavyweight size. Um, I mean, that makes complete sense, actually, to me, that he would do that. He'd be the first person in history that could win three belts in three different weight weight classes. You gotta do it, right? I mean, if it, yeah, you gotta do it if you really think about it. Like he he doesn't have a choice. My man doesn't have a choice. If you have the opportunity to be the first person to ever hold three belts in three different weight classes, you've got to go for it, right? I feel like you've got to go for it. Oh, yeah, he, he, I mean, he definitely is capable. There's no doubt he's capable. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see that? Yeah. What they were talking about last night? He did that same test that Francis did. Where Francis hit that pad and it, like, measures how hard you hit. He hit it and he beat Francis by, like, God. It was like Francis hit it and he got like 120,000 units, whatever that, whatever they're measuring in of force. And Prairie got like 190,000. Which would mean he would hit, he hits, like, I don't know if this is truly the case, but, but that would technically mean, right, that he hits, what, like 30% harder than Francis, in, uh, than Ganu. Will I be evening, night streaming during summer? Um, possible? I'm not sure. I mean, I prefer most days to be to stream earlier rather than later. Most days I prefer to stream earlier rather than later. Concerned citizen, what's up, baby? Yo, Vanity, what's up, baby? Citi uh, yo, Concerned Citizen, appreciate you hooking up Pratty, man. I appreciate you doing that, dude. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, Tom versus Alex would be a hell of a heavyweight fight. Yeah, here's the thing, though. It's got to be... We got to see what happens with John, right? Like, John either has to come back, fight, or retire. And everything tells us right now that he's going to come back. Nothing that doesn't. So, the first thing that's going to have to happen is Aspinall needs to fight Jones. And then whoever you would actually think after that, that you, you could see a Pereira fight. Because, really, I don't know. I mean, you you can make an argument for probably a bunch of different heavyweights to be honest, but also wait, is is Stipe still supposed to fight? Like, what's gonna happen with that? Is it is Stipe still gonna fight Jones first, and then I guess it'd be Aspinall, and then Pereira? 
Or maybe the UFC just says, you know what, screw it, dude. We're going to fucking do this shit. And, you know, honestly, what if what if they have Aspinall defend his, his interim title against Pereira? And then they have Pereira fight Jones. Who's O'Malley fight next? They haven't announced anything, but I can't imagine that he... It's got, I think it's got to be uh, Machabili, right? Saint Sicilian fights are fun, dude. Fights are fun, bro. No fluke duke. What's up, man? This map still blows. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of Miramar. Never really was. Never really was. I can find a car either. We gotta run across this whole entire giant massive slab of desert. Sandy death. You want to see who they get next for Bo Nickel? What'd you guys think of the Bo Nickel fight? What'd you guys think of the Bo Nickel fight? Vanity, how have I been? Good. How are you? Yeah, yeah, we got the Bronco, baby. Legend for tells if you drive this down the highway, a bunch of police cars just randomly start chasing you at slow rates of speed. That's what they say. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. That's what they say. Too easy for Bo. What do I think's harder? Hitting a straight golf drive or being the cameraman that follows the ball in the air. Don't they probably like trackers and the ball that the camera just automatically does it? Am I crazy? Honestly, I think it'd be easier. I mean, okay, well, well okay. Are we talking about to consistently hit it straight? Or are we talking about to just hit it straight once? Like, are we talking to get to the point where you could consistently track the ball with the camera and consistently hit the ball straight off of a drive? Is that what we're talking about?
I think it'd be easier to be the camera guy and track the ball in that case. Because to consistently hit that shit straight takes a lot of practice. I feel like I could practice. You could practice consistently hitting the ball straight on a drive the entire day and still mess up multiple times. Like, you could get to the point where you're getting better. But I don't like to be like near getting up like 80, 90% of the time. Probably not. I think within like a day or two, I could easily, with a camera, get to the point where I could track the ball the same way they do. I think that's a lot easier tracking the ball than have to hit that damn thing. Am I into race simulator setup games? I've never played one. I bet it would be a good time though. I'm into actual racing. Go to the track sometimes. Why is this guy just fucking right here? Of all the places, what is this? Hard shifted back. Falling? Yeah, that's what everybody's talking about right now. I told, or I told Snoo, which someone's got to find me a part. Uh, I said, I said on the broadcast last night, someone's got to find me a great picture of that of Max standing over. Gave G after that knockout, like I need that. I need to frame that sucker. Martin, I mean, if anything, it was it was best for Justin to throw hands with him like that at the end, dude. Right? 
I mean, he needed to knock him out. If anything, Max was risking way more. He could have just ran away. He could have ran away and easily just locked up the fight. Instead, he was like, yo, let's throw hands here in the center for the last 10 seconds. And they did. <laughs> he knocked him the hell out with one second left. Jay Crack, yeah, dude, UFC 300 was insane. Yeah, it was. It was the ultimate respect. Shout out to both of them, though. Uh, Holloway, like, put out a, a tweet. and I, I mean, uh, we even said this on the broadcast. Well, like, shout out to both of them because you want you, you don't get amazing fights like that. We're all, ta like, talking about Max. But shout out to, to Gaethje, too, man. Dude's a savage, freaking tough as nails. The fact he broke his nose at the end of the first round, just kept fighting like he did. Like, it didn't even really. I mean, you could tell it fucking was affecting him. But he just fought anyway. He thought, fought through it anyways. Just stand in there, throw all those bombs, and trade with Max and everything like he did. Like, took two to tango. So, it's it, they, since it's cool, you know, obviously he made it whatever his, his fight purse was to show. But on top of that, you know, they, he got a 300k bonus as well for fight of the night. Well deserved for sure. It could have been a, you're right. Yeah, it could have been a different fight if he didn't get his nose broken. But, he got his nose broken. And it was it wasn't broken by some freak thing. Max did a spinning back kick, landed it, landed a bunch of them. So No, Pratty. If anything, I think it actually did the opposite. I, it, it depends on the person. It affects different people different ways. And it depends on what you mean. I think that actually a lot of the time that is more associated with other things that people could be using in like bodybuilding or whatnot. But uh, it affects people a little differently. Weird that he stayed back on the side, that side, rather than going up. Like, you would think he'd try to cut you off in front of the zone, rather than play back. This. Like he knew I was back here. He knew I was back here. How he just played that? He knew I was back here. I am. Sus as fuck. Super fucking sus.
he played that as if he was certain I was still on that back ride. He wasn't a con looking in his left. I could have been flanking. Could have been doing a bunch of different shit. He knew I was going to come up over that hill. He knew I was still back along that zone for some reason. Yep. Yeah, that's the one he linked me, dude. That's the exact one he linked me right there. This one. Check it out. I was I'm I feel like I need to get this on a poster and put it up. To remember this moment. What a wild what a great picture, dude. What a great what a great picture, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, man. <laughs> Look at Zuckerberg. <laughs> Look at Zuckerberg back here, bro. Look at him. Look at him losing it. But I think I'd ever play anything competitively again. Not like an absolute no, but it's close, that's for sure. It'd have to be like the perfect game, man. Perfect game, perfect opportunity. Something that I would just like, would really love competing in. Very, very low probability of it. This it sounds like Jens is trying to lure me into wars. Dude, he was. Can't do Warzone, man. I'd love to play with James, but not Warzone. If he wants to play some PUBG, I'm more than down for that. What's up, dude?
I should do the half group, huh? Yeah, we need arc. Being off in the bit. Like a suppressor. Live, line them up, knock them down, baby. Line them up, knock them down, men. What was the big thing they got people uh, coming back to PUBG? Seems like he's coming back to life. Probably like one they've continued improving the game. They put more and more content in it. I think people want more of a battle royale around this time period, similar to PUBG. I think people are kind of like a little tired of like the Fortnites and the Apex style and want something more realistic. So PUBG is like a good option when it comes to that. And then. Uh, Think like people maybe are excited about UE5 being a thing. J crack, nothing, nothing that crazy. Nothing where it's like they got all sorts of stuff on it. Fired, you know, suppressed ARs with like dots and red dots and scopes on them and uh, grips and whatnot. Or just like a more of a just legitimate setup. is my sunday routine well for the last sundays it's been wake up and do my long run did 11 miles today last time it was 13.1 it went down a little bit this week on my training schedule and then after that i go to church spend time with family and then i've been doing night streams What's up, Jordan? Hope you're doing well, man. What's up, Pack This? Intense fight Saturday night. How was the watch party? It was great, bro. Great. It actually, maybe like, I mean, we've been on a lot of good watch parties. It maybe was my favorite watch party ever. I think it had to do with how great the fights were. Yeah, did a 11 mile run this morning. It was really good. Zone two, yeah, I'm keeping my. It's a building aerobic capacity. So, uh, keeping my heart rate under about 150 beats per minute while running. Try to stay under that. No, nah, I did 13.1. 13.1 is the most I've done so far. Almost six years of the pack on Twitch. It's crazy how fast time flies by, my man. What's up, dude?
to me. Got it. White Feather, hey, baby. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much for all the all the support, brother. Almost six years of the pack on Twitch. It's crazy how fast time flies, dude. 70 months. All the months. Not only just on Twitch, but on YouTube as well, man. I appreciate you. Prince, no, I decided I, no, it was something that I had decided to start doing as I got older because I wanted to within the last, started about two years ago and then I decided I wanted to start going consistently like for some months now. Yeah, it was a half marathon. Yeah, the half I did a half. Uh, I did, it wasn't like an official half marathon. Like I went to a race and did it, but I went out and did thirteen point one miles. And I ran it in a an hour and like fifty seven ish minutes, like one fifty seven. Bye, die. What's up, baby? Hope you're doing well too, bro. Prince, yeah, well, I don't know. But what I've come to think about that is that there comes a point where even if you were born into something, you actually, actually, you know, it could happen at different times, different ages. But there comes a point where you kind of make your, your own, you got to make your own decision. It's not just about what you were uh, brought up in or taught or whatnot. You know what I mean? Citizen, what makes you say that, man? What up, Fade? Appreciate the four months. Nah, this is the first... I mean, I've ran before for sports and football, but never long distance. This is something where... I wanted it to challenge me in a new way. It definitely is. Um, you know, this is the first time I've ever really trained long distance. Um, the first, my first long run that I did was, on my week one was six miles. And uh, The first one I did was six miles, and that was the first time I had ever ran six miles in my entire life. So, like, continuously. I've never ran six miles before. So that first time I did six miles, I was like, damn, this was a lot. But I realized, like, holy shit, I actually, you know, did better at this than I thought I was. And I just continue with the training, and it's just been working. The training has been working. You know, I got down with that half marathon with that time. Uh, and that was the first time I've ever done that. Never in my life did I ever th think about even doing that until the start of this year. Well, yeah, start of this year.
Mitchell, what's up, man? Yes, it is. Um, and yeah, the truth is, I've actually, yeah, I've started actually liking running. Which, never in my life did I ever think I would ever say that, but no, I actually really... I mean, like, don't get me wrong, there's things about it that still suck, but there's other things about it that I, like, really fucking like, you know? So. Pull up behind me. Uh, I thought he got in that car. Not even, it's not just the runner's high. It's all, there's a lot of stuff that I feel like it's really beneficial for. Really, Jaybird? Wild. I've never heard of that. Is there a specific term for that? Sinister rifle? Oh, 100%. 100%. Runner's high is definitely real. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the, I've had all my longer longer runs, sometimes my feet hurt. And then they go numb. <laughs> They'll like hurt and then like I it's you're like, well, it's gonna keep going. So it doesn't really matter. And then eventually it's just like they go numb. Weird. I imagine that's like normal though. The vast majority of people. On a scale of 1 to 10, how clean was that just knockout? That was a 10, dude. It's not even close. It's something where after this, I was like, even after I get, I don't know. Well, the thing is we're doing the marathon training and then we're going to do half Ironman training. <gasps> Fucking guy in outer space bombing us from inside this way.
after this, we got, we're going to have to train for the half Ironman. So that's going to involve like swimming and biking and running. Um, but shit, dude, even after that, I was like, you know what? I could, I think I'd still would keep to like doing running three times a week and maybe do like a couple, couple, like maybe three mile days and then like a five mile day or something. Shot, headshot that. Yep. Yeah, mine's usually like three to the three or four mile mark. Three or four mile mark is when my feet just go numb. On the move, he, the dude is side strafing and just hits a headshot like that. It's like very fucking do a scope, damn near impossible. Cosmic, I, I use a couple different pairs. I've been using some. Um, some Brooks and some Sitonis. Like them both. No, Hoka is pretty popular too, though. Gotta throw some solid inserts in them. Yeah, I don't got any inserts right now. Don't got any inserts, bro. Tips, tricks for post gym recovery. 6'3, 275, dropping the 220, building muscle while cutting fat. Body's taking longer to recover from workouts than I'd like to. Um. Do you, how many days a week are you training? Some that help me is like do incorporating uh, like some other form of cardio, cardio or walking. Uh, like after the gym, or like multiple times throughout the day, it's like getting your body moving and more blood flow going. It depends on how active you already are. If, if you're not like super active when you're not at the gym, that could be causing stuff for your recovery. Um, Maybe you're not eating enough protein. I know you said you're cutting right now and you're cutting from like a heavier weight. So I mean, really energy wise, it shouldn't be too big of an issue, but make sure you're getting enough protein, getting enough sleep. Sleep's the biggest thing when it comes to recovery. Seven, eight hours of really good sleep. Ice bath can help with soreness. Same thing with sauna. like sauna start sauning every day you're lifting four times do you do anything on your days that you're not tra uh lifting Do anything on the days you're not lifting, you get seven, eight hours of sleep a night. Biggest thing, sleep, bro. If you're skipping out on the sleep, like you're not gonna recover well no matter what you're doing much. So making sure you get good sleep is number one. Then it's like you're training weights four times a week on your other days. I would do like some form of cardio or at least like a like a walk for like 
could be multiple times a day for like 10 minutes or like once a day for like 30. That'll help you as well. They're not already doing that. Depends on what you're already doing. Jaybird, yeah, I know of Michael Hearn. Love the night streams, boss. Great thing to watch after I finish my second 45-minute workout. Wife and I just finished day 45, yeah. You usually get more than six hours of sleep. That that give be a big one. If you can end up getting four hours of sleep, that might help a lot. Um, you know how big of a are you tracking anyway, or do you know how big of a deficit you're in? How many calories are you eating a day? If your cat if your calories are like super low, that can that's definitely gonna affect you. Jordan, you the man, bro. That's what it's all about, baby. My favorite map, Sandhawk. Sandhawk. Two thousand six hundred, which is an aggressive cut. Not, it's not that crazy though. I mean, two thousand six hundred is not that crazy, unless you were eating like, you know, you know maintaining your weight at like six thousand before or something. You know, not that crazy. Overall, biggest things that I can say help me with recovery is like one, sleep, right. Off days, doing some cardio. Um, definitely, ice baths can help with soreness. Sauning multiple times a week, you get that blood flow going. Especially if you like do it before bed, it can actually help you sleep. Shown that it helps release more growth hormone, all sorts of stuff. But while you, while you sleep, those days after you, those nights after you sauna, um, which always whenever I sauna and I wake up the next day I feel like way better um outside of that I mean you could try like like some sort of post-workout recovery supplement but I I really don't think you'll get too much out of it like it'll help some but it's not gonna be like some drastic difference Do you know how many grams of protein you're getting, too? Yo, Shiffers, what's up, baby? Been missing a lot of streams in a weird spot in life. Hope you're in the pack doing well. Hey, man, doing great, brother. I appreciate the prime. Hey, whatever's going on, baby, you got this. Need the pack here for you. 
timing groove coming in with the prime as well. What's up, bro? Appreciate the prime. Yo, Sicilian hooking up no fluke duke. Well, you the man, bro. That's true. Something like a yoga could definitely help as well. You take amino acids, BCAAs, and creatine. I'd say you're wasting your money on amino acids, BCAAs, bro. You don't know how many grams, two, oh, never mind, 240 to 260 grams of protein, gram per pound, eh? Yeah, that's, you're definitely locked in on that, man. You getting that much protein, that, those BCAAs, amino acids aren't doing shit, man. Very little. You'd be better off using that to buy something else as a supplement. It's true as well. Hydration can be a key thing. Make sure you, you know, get enough water, electrolytes. Most likely, you know, if you're eating a whole like a whole foods diet of some sort, you're probably gonna do pretty well on that. Only one thing with that though, if you are someone out there, you eat mainly just whole foods. Like you don't eat anything that's processed and whatnot. Your, your diet could end up being low in sodium which will affect you in many different ways. What is my opinion on the carnivore diet? Have I ever tried it? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I did try it once. Tried it back like... When I was starting to get like super fucking... Uh, Back when you referred to me as Skinny Vis, it was right around that time period that I started doing carnivore. I did it for like 30 days. It just felt fucking absolutely terrible. I was like, no, nah, never doing it again. However, saying that, I recognize the fact that there's, that I think there are definitely some people out there that probably have like some sort of super sensitive to different food allergies and whatnot. And it seems like it helps them in some way. I think it's a very, very small percentage of people. It's like probably just absolute like outlier, like maybe 1% of people where they could do that as a diet and it'd be somewhat effective. Don't know like the long-term effects and whatnot of it. But I do recognize that there's definitely some people that do it and it seems to help them and it seems to work. But I just don't think that's going to be the vast majority of people. I think the vast majority of people, even if you were to try a carnivore diet, you should probably try that. Start there. 
and then it, try to introduce some foods to, and see if you have any issues or problems. Like, you could start with, okay, I'm going to do meat, and then I'm going to introduce, like, a couple fruit, then I'm going to introduce a couple vegetables, and see if there's any issue, and there's, there's no issue, just keep introducing things back in. Like, the only reason I see to do it is if you have some absurd, like, type of health issues going on. It's not like... don't really think it's something the vast majority of people would consider the only time i would do it if i was somebody who's like bro i fucking have tried everything else and i got these weird health issues and i'm just gonna see you know i'll try it for like a 60 days and see if like anything changes and then if i did it and nothing changed i would be like all right well this didn't work either <laughs> that, would be, that would be like the only way i would ever really stick to it again I kind of wanted to try it myself to see I mean, what could happen with this. Overall, don't really think it's that great. I uh, I eat a whole foods diet. I eat a lot of protein. I eat a lot of meat, but I also eat a lot of fruits and veggies and rice and oats and potatoes. and um, I eat like 400 grams of carbs a day right now, and I feel great. Why do I say you're wasting money on amino acids and BCAAs? There's not really good at that. The evidence for amino acids and BCAAs was like in older individuals that were not taking protein. And it showed that it helped them uh, like, ain't, like, I can't even remember exactly. They, they had some like positive effects with muscles, but when they, they've used it in trials with people that uh, like are consuming enough protein or in younger individuals, it had no effect. You're already getting protein from your protein powder. Branch chain amino acids. Amino acids make up protein. You're already getting tons of amino acids from your food. Getting more is not going to do jack. Um, and like even then, it's just it's just a better idea just to take protein rather than amino acids yeah i know dude that happens to people all the time they buy tons of supplements that are not actually that effective or have very little effect Many, 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 many different supplements I would consider forever. I mean, there's not... The only scenario where I could maybe consider branch chain amino acids would be if you're a bodybuilder and you're getting extremely lean, you're almost about to get to your show, and your calories are so low that you're kind of even, at that point, your like, calories are getting so low... Your protein isn't that high, whatnot. Maybe you take branch chain. It helps you, like, lose less muscle. But that's going to be... That's like someone's literally dropping into single-digit... Low single-digit body fat numbers where maybe you would end up seeing um, some benefit. That's not... That's not... That's 99.99% of people are not that. What's my main source of carbs? Rice, oats fruit my main source of carbs I mean your carbs and fat shouldn't be that low if you're eating 2,600 calories For anyone out there that is cutting, and this could include you, I would highly recommend that you get Carbon. Carbon is a, a tracking app, but it's also a coaching app. A smart diet coach powered by AI, but it, it will adjust your calories and macros to make sure that you stay on track 
on your diet. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you're trying to lose weight, lose body fat, or trying to gain weight, gain muscle, or even just to maintain. Um, carbon does all those things. It even does a reverse diet. But it does all those things. Um, and it, you check in with the app. You log all your stuff, weigh yourself. You check in with the app week to week the same way you would do with a coach. And then it sees what your body's doing. It sees what your weight's doing. It sees how much food you ate. And it will adjust from there. So if it sees, okay, you're actually losing weight way faster um, than we, you would want. It'll actually kick your calories back up to make sure you lose at a, a good rate. That way you're not, you're not in such a hard deficit that you, it's affecting your energy levels, that sort of thing. Um, or vice versa. You could be like, okay, you're actually not losing weight at the rate we would like. We're going to drop your calories a little bit lower this week. Let's see what your body does. So it does exactly what a coach would do. Coach, you know, costs hundreds of dollars a month. When I say hundreds, like 300, 400, 500 bucks a month for coaches to do this same type of thing that the app does for less than $10 a month. I've been using it for since like 2019, early 2019 time. Just as soon as the app came available, I started using it. I've been looking forward to using it for a long time because made by Lane Norton, um, who's an expert in the fitness industry, very smart guy actually is a coach designed the app to do exactly what coaches do um for a fraction of the cost i use it i got my buddies and friends to swap to it from you know, fit my fitness pal they use it they love it both of them have gotten in tremendous shape using it That's the link for it. We're partnered with them. You can get a discount through the link. I'm the only person in the world with a discount. It's already worth every single cent. It doesn't even really need a discount. Uh, that goes for anybody out there. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Losing weight, gaining weight. Been using it for years. Love it. Why do I keep using it? Because it continues. It's like the, it's like having all the benefits of having a coach. It takes out all the guesswork. You don't have to worry about the fact of like, do I drop my calories? Am I too low? Am I too high? Like, you just trust the app. The app is great. It's programmed exactly how it needs to be and gets you where you want to go. Got really cool features in it too where you can adjust your like daily calories so the week stays the same overall like you can pull calories from other days and add it to other ones so if you're going out you're doing like say it's date night or you're doing a family get together and you want to eat a little bit more because you guys are making a meal you could bump up your calories that day hey you know i'm throwing another thousand calories on this day and take it from the other six days in the week it's not going to drop on that much lower you're gonna eat more calories on a day with your your friends and family and so it can help with that it can also help with Say you got a harder training day like I did today where I'm doing 11 miles. I kicked my calories up another like 500 calories today. And I just bumped them up another like 500 yesterday. Wanted to eat more carbs yesterday so I could carb up for the run. Have more after my run today. And took it from the other five days of the week. So there's a ton of stuff that you can do with it. It's an amazing app. Can you grow muscle without protein shakes and supplements? Absolutely. Matter of fact, that's probably like the best way to go about it <laughs> is to get your most of your protein from your food. It's not that you should. It's not that you can't protein shakes slash protein supplements, right? Which would be shakes are there for convenience to make sure to help you get your protein in. It, you, getting your protein from food is the exact same thing. Savage, there's a link for right there that link you can figure out everything you want to know and you'll get a discount with it as well but i've been using it for years i've been recommending it for years we've got pack members coming in all the time that even they've noticed now that we're partnered up with them there's a bunch of people that was talking to them they're like hey you should partner with this because you know i've been shouting out years and using it eventually that's basically what happened i gotta meet lane and everything and i did we should do something together Biggest thing about it, and if you've been in here, you know, you'd probably be like, dude, this is talking about carbon all the time. 
I know it'll help you guys out there that are trying to make a change when it comes to your fitness or lose weight. I know it's been a tremendous asset for me, and I want to make sure that if there's people out there, you know about it because I know it can help you. And I want to see you guys hit your goals and you know, get to the body that you want. We get Sanok. Part of these giant maps. That one specifically was something. Fluke, yeah. Shrimp's great. Yeah, they, uh, San, you can get your protein. You can get your protein from many different meat sources. I mean, you could get it from some plant sources, but plant sources are not going to be the best way to get protein. Um, plant sources are not complete sources of proteins. You have to eat more of them, and you need to usually mix them with other plant sources of protein to help make a complete protein. And even then, when you're digesting them, they're harder for your body to absorb than meat-based proteins. deep diving on google say hey deep diving in google do you absolutely do whatever research look up anything you want to know about it i'll just say hey use our link if you do decide hey i, I want to try this app use our link because one it's going to give you a discount so you're going to get it at a cheaper rate and it'll help support us too so the one thing i would say Some people say veggies don't matter. What are my thoughts? Say that the evidence does not say that's the case. The ones that say that doesn't matter, I'd say usually it's probably one of two things that people, maybe they got some really crazy food sensitivities or some shit. And when they eat, comes to eating the vast majority of vegetables, maybe it causes them problems. That's gonna be a very, very small percentage of people. Other people I'd say would say that is the people that are making dough off of them doing their specific diet and their specific thing that um, they are pushing. Like, there's tons and tons of healthy people out there that eat vegetables all the fucking time that have no issues. However, if I was a person and I was like, dude, whenever I eat any vegetables, I feel like absolute shit and I get these health problems, then maybe I'd start removing them from my diet and see if those things go away. And if they did, I'd be like, well, you know, maybe I can't have these particular ones. Maybe I should try something else. And if I tried them all and they were like, none of them fit with me, then I just want to fucking eat them. <laughs> you know, that, but that's what I would do. I want to just be like, I want to just jump to some conclusion.
Yo, insane. Have a good night, man. Appreciate you chilling with us, dude. What up, Pacquiao? Some poor guy. What's up, baby? Hope you're doing well, dude. Good to see you. See, bags and bags of flaming hot Cheetos. They had to stop once they started giving me the ring of fire. <laughs> the ring of fire. Fine, Nemo was a good damn show, though. Okay. It was, it was actually really good. My partner with any supplement company. Not currently. Ooh. Kill Dob, what's up, man? Appreciate the prime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ever since I've done a lot of different... I've tried a lot of different things over the years. Because I kind of wanted to see for myself how it was. I've tried... I've tried, like, super... I've got, like, if it fits your macros, eat anything you want to eat. That's why I started off. I started tracking macros when I was in high school. And it was like, dude, I'll fucking eat all sorts of stuff. I'll eat like pop, the good pop tarts, chat, okay? Pop tarts, fruit loops, French toast, cereal, um, in candy. Uh, you know, made sure I got my protein from my like protein shakes, meat still, right? But like after that, anything with burgers, all that and i got fucking shredded because you track your calories you can still get shredded doing that however I've had a lot of like cravings um not as filling eating that way a bunch of different stuff but then like slowly over time started changing that then eventually it was like you know i'm gonna try like did like paleo did intermittent fasting. Did where you I even tried at some points doing like the one meal a day thing. Tried carnivore. Tried keto. 
been keto for a long time, actually. Been keto for like three, four months. So I guess it depends on what you use by long time. And then eventually it came to the point where I went back to eating. Doing flexible dieting and just started eating more and more and more whole foods, making the vast majority of my foods whole foods, and never since I've done that. Feel great. But you are, yeah, you cook, you're definitely cooking more, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because cooking more also usually means you're saving more. Um, and there's definitely, you can crock pot, your friend, cook everything at once in bulk, your friend, get things that don't require tons of cooking, also your friend. Use. <laughs> Paper, paper bowls, paper plates. Less dishes. Jaybird, I, I mean, I've definitely ate like ate quite a few before. That's for sure. Quite a few I've eaten. It probably like almost an entire jar a day. Luke, keep it up, baby. Keep it up, baby. Yeah, pickles are like, if you enjoy them, they're a good diet food because they got very minimal calories. And also good if you're like working out and whatnot to have before a workout or after a workout because of the sodium content. For hydration. Besides PUBG, what's my favorite game right now? I don't know if I got a favorite game right now, even in, though I'm playing PUBG right now. I don't know. I don't really know if I got a favorite. I'm playing a, playing some PUBG, been playing some Apex, been playing some Tarkov. Gonna play Gray Zone on the 18th, four days away. Gonna be getting in there with uh, Crafty and Tanner. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what it is. You know what it is. The man. The myth. The legend. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the Travis Pastrami making his way out for his first run of the day. Might as well call it first run of the night. Pastrami making his way out across front flip maneuver. Can he stick the landing? Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, judges of chat, get your 10 out of 10s ready. Get your bike flips ready. Be scorning the run for Pastrami. Pastrami with a backflip, a front flip into a backflip maneuver to get us started, ladies and gentlemen. As always, Trace fans, of course, out on the course. They've always managed to slip past security. Shit, they let him walk right up in this place. Pastrami veering up off the side of the road, launches himself, backflip, looking into the sky. Could he stick it? Yes, he can, ladies and gentlemen. The deli meat legend, yes, he's fueled by gasoline. He's fueled by deli meats. Hell, oh, so much pastrami, baby. 
My man out here with them cold cuts. Get him served up in the deli with his boy Hambino. You know it. Pastrami racing his way out across the course. Where are the crazed fans? Setting up ambushes, most likely. You know they're looking to get autographs signed from the legend, ladies and gentlemen. You know they're looking to get their autographs signed from the legend. Do we have in the zone? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We need to go make a little pit stop as always. The pit crew leaving out the bike. Not, not gassing the bike up. No, they want pastrami and a low tank of gas always. Why are we paying this pit crew, man? Why are we paying them? Why are we giving them free subs from the deli? Makes no sense. Never out here, never doing their damn jobs. Pastrami flying his way through the air, ladies and gentlemen, making his way over to the gas station. Gonna be needing to make a pit stop. Gonna be needing to get a full tank of gas. Yeah, we're fueling it up, baby. We're fueling it up, baby. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Beard himself up, up the side of the road, back for maneuver one. Could he go for two? He's going for it. And he sticks it, the double backflip. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Get him the BMF title, man. Get it, get it to Pastrami. Front flip, side maneuver, into the compound, bouncing, pinballing off of walls, ladies and gentlemen. Where the hell are the Craze fans? Where are they at? We need to sign some autographs for the Craze fans, ladies and gentlemen. Where are they? Where are they? Maybe security actually did their job this time, man. They kept them off the course. Postrami making his way up off the side of the road now, ladies and gentlemen. Veering through the trees to the tippity top, past the power lines. Pastrami making his way out across next to the other zone. Surely there are going to be Craze fans that are chasing the blue zone over here, right? Gunshots. Gunshots distance. More gunshots. What must we do to him? We're going to do that. We're going to sign some autographs while we do it. Gunshots in the distance, ladies and gentlemen. Pastrami making his way there right now. Where is the Craze fan? Where is he? Where is he? Get off me, Craze fan! Autograph signed Treadmarks. Yeah, yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Treadmarks on the bike equipped with tr tr Pastrami. Treadmarks. That's right. That guy's forever going to look like he's got Pastrami tattooed on his face from the tire. Absolutely. Rami making his way back onto the highway. Explosions in the distance. Pastrami front flip maneuver. Where are they, ladies and gentlemen? Where are they? They gotta, there's gotta be more crazy gunshots. Pastrami making his way up towards the tippity top of the hill. He's bailing out the bike, ladies and gentlemen. He's got autograph five, five, six bullets. Gunshots at the rock. Crazy fan. Can we give him a little explosive? A little explosive autograph little explosive autograph ladies and gentlemen can we do it nah not able to make it out there pastrami's gonna have to hit him with that seven six he's gonna have to hit what bro what is this from across the zone while moving while crouching a craze fan able to get an angle on pastrami 
GG, Craze fan. Get a damn sandhawk. <laughs> Can we get a damn sandhawk? What's up, preacher? Cold blooded spud, my man. What's up, bro? Appreciate the 10 months. Because it's time. You're damn right it's time. You're damn right it's time. We'll always have the memory of the dude you ran down. Sometimes you gotta run him over, baby. Okay? Sometimes you gotta run him over. Sometimes you gotta run him over. And sometimes you gotta hot drop. And I feel like this next one we get a hot drop. Luke A. Appreciate you chilling with us, baby. Please, a Sanhok, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want here. Good old Sanhok. Or an Erangel. Or an Erangel. That, that would be a sick one, too. I'm picking Erangel right now. Damn, dude. What are the chances to get another Rondo? We've had Rondo so many times. I'm going to set back-to-back 20% chances to get one map is a four percent chance yo unusual with the prime hey i appreciate you doing that man it says madman uh uh az on youtube renewing my prime as well you're the man brother anyone else is out there you're a prime user hit that sub button baby if you got a prime up don't forget to use it bro Disrespect you. What's up, Joshua? Now, let's get into the action. Let's go right in. Let's go right in. Let's get into the action here. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's going on. In the dirt. What's up, dude? playing solos. What's up, Skyview?
Eyes, what's up, baby? Cold-blooded spud, my man. What's 60 plus 10? Six years with the pack. My man, dude. Coming in with the 60 on Twitch, coming in with the 10 on YouTube at the same time. You're a legend, dude. Thank you so much, man. What do I think at UFC 300? One of the best fight cards of all time. Hands down. Close. Dude, have they fixed this? Can I dig a hole? Dig a trench yet? One of the best fight cards of all time. Not even close. And that the Gabe Chi uh, Holloway fight is going to be the fight of the year. Fight of the year, knockout of the year. Like. Alex is a different breed. Herrera? Yeah. He, he has death touch. When he was, uh, when he was building out his human being character, uh, he, he gave him, he got, he got the, the perk, uh, death touch, which basically if you touch anyone on the chin, you do, they just get knocked out. You're, you're asking, well, did this, what was my perk? Hey, dude, okay, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes take, people roll the dice and they come up D100, all right? Other people roll the dice, they come up with uh, D1. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he rolled a fucking D100. <laughs> You'll take Aspinall all day if he's uh, fighting Pereira. I mean, Aspinall looked really good. He's also huge, fast as shit. I will say though, if you're Pereira, you gotta like go for it, right? We were talking about earlier. If you're Pereira, you gotta go for it. You gotta go for that heavyweight title as well. Ice, that's what they say. Not by a small mor a margin. I 
I mean, I wouldn't doubt it with how he knocks people out, bro. He barely touches them and they get knocked out. It's not like he's throwing full bombs. It's not like he's, like, loading up everything he has into these punches when he knocks people out. They're like little short hooks that he throws from his... From his side. Throws them from, like, his stomach. Little These little short hooks. And he touches people with them. They just fucking get blasted into oblivion. Doesn't even make sense. Like, it doesn't look like he's hitting anywhere close to as hard as you, you would, like, know it would take to knock these guys out and down. It's not like he's looking like he's throwing some, like, crazy bomb when he throws it. It's just, like, these little short hooks and he, like, touches them. Like, and the look on their faces, too. They're like... It's like what um, happened usually when, like, Amanda Nunez would touch people, like those girls, right? When Amanda Nunez would just, like, plow one, they'd be like, holy shit, what is that? The craziest thing is that his ancestors came from the Amazonian tribe known as the Stone Fist Tribe. <laughs> the Stone Fist Tribe. I mean, you can't make this shit up, ladies and gentlemen. Can't make it up. How's your day going? Is it going to be a 24-hour stream? Absolutely not. Crazy. Are you crazy? I think I'm going to do a 24-hour stream. Are you out of your damn mind? Are you out of your damn mind? Yo, Sniffles, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well as well, bro. Good running to you, man.
Someone was sniping on the right, so the guys at the roof. I see him. Oh fuck, now I'm being shot by both of them at once, of course. Once again, there's always a guy down these buildings. my thoughts on a BR genre nowadays? My thoughts are we need a new game that pushes it forward. So we don't stay in that pin. Jaybird, hey, you the man, bro. Almost there. Almost there. You, it's all good, baby. Have a good night. Let me see what's your feelings on the PR genre now, bro. Bro, these fucking deep. I mean, I shoot and I'm, I'm already moving on my screen. I still get headshot. G7 is funny, bro. My man said someone commented under Max's KO highlight and said, now that's a Hawaiian punch. So dumb. Holy shit. Eyes? Oh, yeah. That was probably one of the most vicious ever. The KO Francis versus Nganu. Or Francis and Ghana versus Overeem. With the shovel hook knockout. Yeah. Little Aaron Gale. Little Aaron Gale. Aaron G. Lee.
Little Aaron Gale, bro. Been playing uh, PUBG since launch. Been playing a long time, dude. Come to Apex, uh, but since then nothing has come. I really coming out feeling something has to come out, and make me feel that love for the BR again. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, you know Doc's team and their game ends up creating a really solid game and experience with the Night Society. I think there's still a lot you can do with the BR genre. Especially mix, mixing it with extraction genre. Combine the two together. Matthias! Gotta do the one year challenge, baby. Been doing stuff all day. Yeah, your PUBG beta key for me, huh? Holy crap, dude, that's insane. Back back when it was still in beta, bro. Back when it was still in beta. That's crazy to think. Crazy to think how all the times have passed. Yo, Pack, appreciate you guys all being here, chilling, hang with us tonight. Hope you guys ended up having a good weekend. 
mean, we're pretty good, right? We get a, we get a first save. We got some energy drinks. We got this. Dustin versus Islam. I love Islam, but Dustin has been looking sharp. He has been looking sharp. Also, he's experienced the cage with Khabib, who I would say is better than Makachev. Did he lose that fight? Yeah, but in a couple of his interviews, he said, you know, I really think if I got to fight him again, that things would go a lot different. He said, having that experience in there now, like, I think that I would fight differently. I remember watching him in one of his interviews talking about that and, like, saying that he, he thinks he would do way better. Well, maybe you don't get to fight Khabib again, but you're going to fight Makachev again. And similar style. I don't think Makachev is as good as Khabib was, but it's kind of like a, like a lesson. He's, he's, a, he's the Padawan of Khabib, dude. Beeps the Sith Lord, and he's just he's he's his apprentice. shot. That Holloway care was absolutely insane, dude. It was. I think that's definitely best knockout of the year. In contention for the greatest knockout of all time. Hey, GG's, man. Yeah, that front kick KO to Tony was nasty, but I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I guess you could give, you could, to be good with it, you could say fight of the year goes to Gaethje in Holloway, and uh, knockout of the year goes to uh, Chandler front kick and Tony. That was a disgusting. Is that still this year? I don't think that was this year. It would have had to have been like the first event of the year. I don't think that was this year, was it? Yeah, hard shit. Yeah, that, I thought that was nasty. Water. It says Alex Pereira gets kicked in the nuts, weighs off the ref without even looking at him, then knocks Hill out. Scariest dude in the UFC right now. Yeah, he's and he is a, he is scary SOB man. Monster.
what happened to this guy? He blew himself up with a grenade. Oh my god, he literally blew himself up with a grenade, dude. I guess, bro. I guess it's making rounds. Yeah, that. Er, yeah, I thought that was disgusting too. Like when I was watching that in the fight, I literally was laughing about it afterwards. I was like, no way, man. He just like. He literally doesn't take his eyes off Hill. He just kicked in the nuts. And the, he knows Herb's coming. He's like, no. This goes inside. No. <laughs> and Herb's like, I, I, don't, oh, I guess I'll just not go in here. The next, you know, boom, KO'd. Maybe he didn't take the nut shot, but I just thought it was funny. Even if he got hit low blow under the belt, no cup, yada, right? It was still all the same. My dude, he's just like, no. Doesn't even take his eyes off of Hill. is trying to snipe house here we go again how many people have been hiding inside houses really need to be I need to be using bolts but tonight's tell me so far
They're everywhere. Yo, Helios, what's up, baby? Appreciate the prime, man. When Diesel said it would definitely be in contention for it. Always going to be able to make an argument for many different KOs across the years. For multiple different reasons. Universe, what's up, man? Good night. Good night. I win every time you join. Oh, dude, you're my good luck charm, huh? You're my good luck charm. That's a bot. Tired of getting shot in the head. Guess that was a body shot, though. Your helmet was popped.
gods and I got him with that. Three enemies left. One there. One was at the house. Unless it's the thing. Yeah, no, he's still at the house. Sniper. Got zone. Guy yellow. Guy at the house. Press shots going off. House guy fighting. Dude at yellow could have flanked. Could be them fighting. They're all, they're all that. All did one. This guy to the house is with a grossa. With a grossa! Good night. He heard us too, dude. He was getting ready for it, bro. He still got beamed. Still got ripped up, baby. Let's go. You are my good luck charm, Goodyverse. We hadn't won a single game the whole night. You came in, I just won, dude. You need to be here all the time, man. Where were you, where were you at? Why are you so late, bro? We could have won so many more chickens. BD, what up, man? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. No, it was me. I was a good luck charm. I don't know, bro. He called it out. He prophesized it. Prophesized it right there, man. Speak devil. Doing good, bro. Like clockwork indeed, man. Where it at, boy? What's up, man? GG's, homie. Hey, Timmons. GG's, bro. You, I'm, I was, I was saying, I, you must have heard me flanking around there.
Yeah, I figured. I was worried about it. I was like, yeah, he's probably going to be able to hear this if he's paying attention. He's probably going to be able to hear this. We got had that P90. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think against almost probably any other gun, it would have been fast enough. Do I have any wrecks for a water filtration unit? I don't. You can get some of those like simple like water pitchers that have filters. Those aren't that expensive, but then you gotta like swap them out every so often. I know a lot of people swear by the ones that you like get them in your your you attach them under your sink. It's going to like flip a nozzle and it goes through that the filter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Appreciate y'all being here, chilling, hanging with me and the rest of the pack. Um, like always, if anyone's out there and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the follow button before you go. Also, shout out to Carbon, the Carbon app, best diet app out there. Carbon does what a diet coach would do for a fraction of the cost, powered by AI. This is an algorithm to make sure that you stay on track with your diet, whether it's losing weight, losing fat, gaining weight and gaining muscle, or maintaining your weight, even doing a reverse diet, Carbon covers all those things. It does exactly what a diet coach would do, but does it all in an app. It's a great app, amazing app, and using it for years. It's helped me get tremendous shape. It's helped a bunch of my friends get in tremendous shape. Recommended to pack members for, for years, and I know there's quite a few out there used it and enjoyed it, and it's helped you, and I know it can help anybody else out there. So, want to shout out the app, you or anyone you know. Diet down, lose some weight, get to a certain goal. Carbon makes sure that you stay on track, and it will get you there, baby. Got a bunch of different amazing, cool features to it. So, if anyone's ever, you ever have any questions about it, anything like that, feel free to ask as well, baby. Universe, I appreciate you coming in, helping us get that win, man. We needed you here, bro. Hello, yo, have a good rest of your night, baby. Have a good night this year. Later, I style you too, bro. Love the stream. Thanks for the content. Hey, Broncos, have a good rest of your night. Matthias, you too, baby. Outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out for now. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys then, all right?